This amendment would accomplish something that the last $1.9 trillion reconciliation package, the $340 billion CARES Act, and the $1 billion COVID relief bill have failed to fully do. It will provide the necessary resources to help U.S. research industry recover from this pandemic. In the billions and billions of dollars the majority has already doled out, we have still failed to give research universities, independent institutions, and national laboratories the resources needed to fully resume the research that's been stopped or stunted by the pandemic. My amendment is based on the Bipartisan RISE Act, which many members of this committee on both sides of the aisle have co-sponsored with me. It would set aside specific funds at the NSF, the Department of Energy, and NOAA, as well as provide an allowance for NASA funds so that we can extend existing grants, scholarships, and facility funds for COVID-related disruptions. We've relied on American scientists to combat COVID, but we're not giving them the funding they need to resume the work that's been stopped by the pandemic. Restarting our research work requires investment, and it's long overdue. This amendment would reallocate almost $3 billion of the $45.5 billion dollars this bill provides to support research recovery. Since the majority demands to move forward with this Partisan Reconciliation Act, I offer this amendment to at least ensure some of its fundings will be utilized to solve the imminent challenge that has been consistently overlooked. This is a common sense issue with bipartisan support. So I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. I thank you and I reserve the balance of my time. Madam Chair. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. I recognize.